after a fruitful 6 day at dhanushkodi next morning we visited rameshwaram temple then we went to vilondi tirtham which is 7 kilometers from rameshwaram you can visit this place on your way from madurai to rameshwaram this well has fresh drinking water even though this place is located in the midst of sea i don't have the scientific explanation to this according to hindu mythology ram had made this well of sweet water with his bow for sita when she returned from sri lanka and she was thirsty the view from this bridge is not bad either after having jumbo size chole bhature we headed 304.2 kilometers towards kanyakumari on the way we saw huge white dunes acres and acres of land dedicated to producing salt directly from harvesting the pond the people were gracious enough to give us a tour the salt is still raw and looks more like snow than salt as we entered kanyakumari district huge i mean huge wind turbines were on the both side of the road and so many of them in jaisalmer rajasthan i had seen them which were in the desert but not in this number The Mupandal Wind Farm is India's largest and world's third largest operational onshore wind farm. My son is a fan of fans and this was the highlight of the tour for him. After driving for 5 and a half to 6 hours, we reached Kanyakumari. Luckily, we arrived right at the time of Lord Ganesh immersion. trucks after trucks were coming to immerse the idols in the indian ocean huge crowd was coming to watch the whole procession we found the perfect spot to view the whole thing from the kanyakumari to its view point we could see the vivekananda rock memorial it was busy and hardly we could hear ourselves then we stood at the spot which is the southern most point of india after a few minutes the trucks arrived a human chain was formed in the water and idols were passed along to make the immersion process swift It was a beautiful moment. The sun was about to set, creating a golden blanket in the sky. Strong wind was subduing every other noise, as if we were asked to focus our total attention towards the procession and bid adieu to Lord Ganesh. In the evening we went to Kanyakumari Sri Tirupati temple instead of sitting in the hotel. It is quite neat and clean and well maintained temple. Great ambience and serene atmosphere and most importantly vast area. My son finally got enough space to run freely. Next morning we took ferry ride to Vivekananda Rock Memorial. Rupees 50 is normal price but you have to stand in the queue. Rupees 200 is for special ticket to skip the queue. It's a short ferry ride. This place was built in 1970 in honor of Swami Vivekananda who is said to have attained enlightenment on the rock. Swami Vivekananda was a monk, philosopher, author, religious teacher. His greatest credit was raising interfaith awareness. One of the most significant contribution of Swami Vivekananda to the modern world is his interpretation of religion as a universal experience of transcendent reality common to all humanity. This universal conception frees religion from the hold of superstitions, dogmatism, priestcraft and intolerance. Swami Vivekananda said, "The gift of knowledge is the highest gift in the world." as a father i would like my son to have this gift with this thought 
we move forward to the last destination